Bruce Power is delaying their controversial transportation of nuclear steam generators through the Welland Canal. VP of Corporate Relations Murray Elston says the company is taking every precaution with the transportation of equipment. We have made an application for approval uh, for the packaging of steam generators that have been decommissioned, moving them by uh, ocean ship to uh, through the through the lock system and uh, the St. Lawrence system to uh, Sweden to have the material which is available for free release uh, to be removed and then the materials which are not releasable uh, to be transmitted back to us uh, for storage here on site. Uh, we received a license from the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission uh, to uh, package uh, the materials, which is basically to ship them in the hold uh, uh, of the uh, ocean-going vessel. Many Niagara officials, such as St. Catharines Mayor Brian McMullen, have expressed their concerns over shipping these materials through environmentally sensitive areas. Well, our concerns have been around the fact that we felt uh, sort of the, uh, the risk assessment that was done was inadequate. It didn't address all of the, uh, the issues raised by the Great Lakes and St. Lawrence Cities Initiative or many other groups that had intervener status. And so we're actually very pleased with the decision to, uh, to at least delay uh, the shipment and uh, to, uh, to have broader public consultation before uh, this uh, movement of generators is allowed to take place. Well, there seems to be some conflicting information as to, you know, what you look at is in these scenarios is worst case, and that if there's something were to happen during the, the trans, uh, transportation of the vessels, uh, which will be over water, um, that we're concerned about the, the safety of our drinking water, and that, in fact, if there was a serious ask accident, it would contaminate that drinking water for about 45 million people. We feel that under those circumstances that they have to take every measure to make sure that that could not happen and that uh, what we're calling a full EA, a full environmental assessment is needed to really make sure that the due diligence has been done. Bruce Power will transport the generators after they've spoken to local communities about their concerns. In St. Catharines, I'm Mike Morgan for NNTV.